I was lucky enough to, you know, uh, come across your page on Instagram. I actually got uh, on your page on Instagram because you guys were, uh, you guys post fabulous content. So I came across this one video mm-hmm. on uh, Instagram uh, where you had posted. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the 10x Career Leader Series. Today, we're going to talk to one of our very talented student who is on the path of making a successful career in finance for herself. So without further ado, hi, Megha. Welcome to the interview. Hi. Uh, thank you so much, Vijay, sir. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is I am Megha Chaudhary. I'm from Guwahati, Assam. Currently, um, I'm working as a research analyst at Crystal. Um, I joined Crystal in September this year. And apart, uh, like with regards to my education, I have done a bachelor's in financial markets from Mithibai College, Mumbai, and I have cleared all three levels of CFA. So yeah, and uh, like apart from all of this, I'm also a passionate baker. So that's all about me. Perfect. Wow. So you have done like uh, passed all the levels of uh, CFA. That that's actually wonderful, given that you have just done your graduation. Um, okay. So. Uh, can you give a little like background about you know how did you started preparing for your interviews or started preparing for your uh, you know job search and uh, uh, like uh, how much time did you spend on it and uh, like what were the result out of the time that you spent so actually um, i so i was actually following a very basic uh, like resume format you know, okay. like written everything in the, my education skills and everything and just okay. randomly applying to jobs, like in my forte, but actually I wasn't realizing the mistakes. Okay. <laughs> so I was just applying and uh, yeah, I didn't uh, and didn't get any results. So I thought maybe, you know, like we randomly think that, you know, it's maybe the company doesn't want, like it's not looking to hire or right. something yeah. without realizing. And uh, then I figured out that, you know, pe- other people are, you know, securing and they are mm-hmm. getting interviews. Maybe I am going wrong somewhere. Correct. I should, uh, you know, uh, seek help from uh, people who are actually providing the services like uh, you guys are. Think mm-hmm. they. So I was lucky enough to, you know, uh, come across your page on Instagram. I actually got uh, on your page on Instagram because you guys, were fa- uh, you guys post fabulous content. So I came across this one video. Mm-hmm. on uh, Instagram uh, where mm-hmm. you had posted some template on uh, how to answer this interview question. Correct. So that's when I started following uh, Think Sage and uh, trust me and when you posted that workshop, first mm-hmm. workshop is your uh, job, first job. Mm-hmm. So I just took it blindly. I was like, let's give this a try and mm-hmm. do it. And then when uh, you know the workshop started, that's when I realized that you know I was making those mistakes you know, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm using the same uh, format for all jobs, you know, mm-hmm. not thinking that, okay, maybe this job requires uh, something else, correct. just applying my one resume to every job and in correct format. That's the biggest issue. Yeah. And later interviews is the secondary part when you get there, how you present yourself or how you tackle the question. Mm-hmm. Because I had actually uh, appeared for an interview before joining your workshop mm-hmm. and uh, I could uh, actually make out what I had done in that interview, mm-hmm. what what mistakes I had made, how did I present myself. So that's, you know, that was the problems that I faced. And uh, yeah, I think I think a very important point that you kind of you know brought here is that when you went for that very first interview of yourself, which was, you know, which kind of revealed to you that, okay, whatever you have learned, how are you applying it? and what exactly are the gaps for you to apply? So it, one of the extremely important point about preparing or maybe, you know, applying for job interviews is you somehow get there, you know, maybe be a part of one of those interviews, which will clear, clearly give you an understanding of like, where do you stand and what exactly do you need to kind of you know, get there? That is one. And second point, like you kind of mentioned, so when we start applying for uh, interviews, uh, what happens is that we uh, do get rejected very often, you know, we apply for it and then we see that nothing happened, you know, and we look at one of the job description, we see that, okay, this looks like exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, 
and uh, then you see that you know there is a mail coming from hr that this is something that you are not going to uh, so they have not selected you for an interview and then you start believing that you know okay there is too much competition maybe this this is not the right time to kind of apply maybe i should stop uh, doing that uh, and most of the time like you just mentioned most of the time the issue is not a, in your ability or your capabilities or you know uh, with the job market issue is most of the time is with the most basic thing about your job search which is your resume because the resume that we have created is perfect as per our understanding as you know in our own eyes when we are looking at it we are saying wow but is it also exactly the same in the eyes of hiring manager or the recruiter that may not be necessary because his thought process his way of thinking about your resume or your interview questions is very different than that of you know the way you are looking at it so i, I think i think it gives a very clear perspective that uh it's okay to seek help it's okay uh, to to kind of you know ask for help as well and maybe reflect back upon uh like how am i doing whether you know i'm applying for a job or so applying for jobs or not or even if let's say i'm not doing anything let's just apply let's just see what is going out there and then kind of reflect upon what exactly can i do to make sure that you know my job search process is right so um so speaking uh, uh like building upon that so another question that i have here is um so uh, so how many companies did you apply or or you know finally like how many con- uh, companies did you like interview for when you were applying for your job search so um actually when uh, when i was uh, into that applying period for uh, companies mm-hmm. i was also preparing for my cfa level 3 so it was a okay. peak time and my focus was actually on crystal okay. because crystal has a 40 in research Yeah. analysis and i had this thing to get into research analysis only so i mm-hmm. had my focus on crystal because mm-hmm. while i was preparing for my cfa mm-hmm. so yeah i like after died after your workshop i uh, applied you know, i got mm-hmm. a chance mm-hmm. to apply all the uh, learnings and everything at crystal mm-hmm. and i i secured the job mm-hmm. like i i had i already uh, told you about that it's okay. all you know yeah okay wonderful wonderful so uh, so can you uh, give a little bit of you know understanding maybe you know maybe few things to the people who are also applying for you know working um, in 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 finance uh, can you give them a little bit of clarity since that you are now there working since past two three months uh, like what what it's like to so what it likes to be there inside and uh, is it as scary as it you know people make it believe when they are not there on the other side so uh like actually in uh, in the finance uh, field you are asking like yeah yeah okay in your field precisely okay so uh, yeah it like obviously when you uh, apply for the job and when you get get the job you are actually thinking that you know maybe like how am i going to do it or mm-hmm. uh, how is it like Mm-hmm. So uh when I uh, joined Crystal I had the same nervousness like am mm-hmm. I going to you know uh, actually am I going to walk on the am I working on the right path or career maybe mm-hmm. you know if I'll be able to do it with mm-hmm. the numbers and everything mm-hmm. so but when I joined Crystal it was all uh, it all changed the okay. perspective because uh how they actually uh, like uh, the people around you they uh, actually introduce you to the work mm-hmm. like slowly gradually you learn that mm-hmm. okay so uh, that uh, you know that perspective changed for me because uh, when you when you actually go inside that field now so you people will teach you so you got to have an open mind that okay mm-hmm. i need to learn mm-hmm. i will learn everything you can't be think that okay i know this i have done this degree so i know everything i am you know i'll mm-hmm. manage mm-hmm. you have to have an open mind correct correct so so that people can teach you and you can take all of that wonderful so that prepares your base okay so that's where you start so it's uh like you have to ha- you have to have the mind when you go inside okay uh so can you give maybe a uh, top two three things uh, that you want everyone to implement in their journey uh to get results as in you know to get 
those interview calls. So what do you think? You know, you have take, you have been with us uh, with Thinkspace for some time, and you have interacted with us as well. What do you think are the top three things that people who have not been connected with us so far, or even if let's say they are connected with us so far, uh, mm-hmm. what do you think? You know, are these top three things that they should be uh, doing with their job search? So the th- three things which I uh, believe people should be implementing just is just not uh, like uh, applicable to jobs, but everything in our lives. Okay. Uh, so first is realizing, realize that you something is lacking in you, mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. may be lacking in you, or you may be going wrong somewhere. So you okay. have to realize realize where you are going wrong, like that specific point, quality, okay. or maybe you know, for example, in job maybe with your resume format, which is mm-hmm. not highlighting your strengths correctly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You may have degrees and everything. So first is realize. Mm-hmm. Realize where you're going wrong. Then second, take the initiative to seek help from people. There are mm-hmm. many uh, uh, people nowadays like think, like uh, your community, think Sage, who provide mm-hmm. free content, which is Correct. very helpful. Correct. So you have to find that. You have to take the initiative to network with people, people. regarding the uh, yeah. your uh, skill, the li- what you're lacking, mm-hmm. what you need help for. Mm-hmm. And then when you uh, actually learn from them, maybe you attend their workshops or you see their content mm-hmm. or you connect with them, whatever it is, you have to implement that. Absolutely. Because without implementation, you're not going to get results. Absolutely. You will have to implement your uh, what you've learned consistently. Mm-hmm. And then you can see the results. You, could, you will gradually see the results because I have personally done that. Yeah, I think it's... After it's your a... workshop, I had... Actually, so, implemented the learnings. So, so I think you you very uh, so you very nicely kind of you know, put it there. You know, there there's just th- if you look at it, there's just three steps to it. You know, first you just reflect upon what you are doing and uh, yes. see where exactly is the problem. Is it my resume or is it my interview uh, preparation that is their problem? Are, are my answers not coherent? I'm I'm giving an answer somewhere. Maybe I'm preparing something else and then speaking or something else at 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 a certain point. Or is it because I don't have like right channels to go through it? Am I applying through only one job portals and then just, you know, putting it there? Am, am I speaking with more number of people in that particular area? So first you identify where exactly my problem lies. Then second, once you have done that, at least in today's context, we are living in information is we have plenty of information everywhere. Okay. The second thing is then you find out where, so wherever I'm lacking, what are the course correction methods there? Okay, in that specific area, you just find out what exactly are the problems, like you rightly mentioned. And the third thing is, once you have found found out, okay, this is the problem, this is a solution, you go ahead and implement it. And this implementation, at least, Megha, you know, what I have seen in our personal experiences as well, that people lack most of the time. In at least in 90% of the cases, what people do is that they just, you know, they, they know that what exactly is the problem. And they also know that, okay, this is what will get me there. And uh, for example, if a person doesn't have good communication skills, I mean, communication skills good enough to uh, speak their thoughts or people are not confident when people know that these are the problems that we have, only thing that is remaining there is the, the, is the implementation. So if let's say you read about a particular kind of a framework, can you apply the same framework in your, uh, in your context and maybe, you know, record your answers at least once in a day and see whether you are improving day by day or not. So there are only three things there. First, you reflect what exactly is the problem. Second, you learn about it. How do you solve it? And then third, obviously, how do you implement it? That is wonderfully, wonderfully apt. Um, any other thoughts that you have, Mira, that you would like to share before we call it for a day? Uh, these three things are important. And then just mm-hmm. keep an open mind to learn. Yeah. Because yeah. you keep learning your entire life. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Even if you have the knowledge... Just act like you don't have the knowledge because yeah. you get to learn from the people. Absolutely. You get to learn from the person in front of you. Like I have learned from you. Maybe yeah. I had some basic knowledge which I didn't have. In some mm-hmm. cases, my peop- some people might do. Mm-hmm. But you get to learn what they're saying. You actually can absorb it absorb it in at what you're learning from them. Absolutely. So I that's... Think, yeah, I think, I think at the start of the career, this is extremely important because when we... Yeah. At least, you know, if I can remember my own time when uh, I had done my engineering and then I came to the place where you know, I had to work, uh, because it's a process. In first year, you're just a new guy. And then, you know, second year, third year, by the final year you are there in your college, you feel that you're a senior guy. And when you go there and you start working, you have those notions around that, you know, I'm a senior guy and I, I'm someone who knows it all. 
so that kind of you know creates a little bit of a problem or a little bit of a barrier that you know you know you don't need to be told that you know this is something that you that that we don't know so uh, you know remove pe- keeping that thing aside you know doing a little bit of unlearning and keeping that you know thought process that you know i have a lot of things to learn because there are people who have been work doing the same thing for s- past 6 7 8 10 or uh, 10 years and they have much more understanding of the context where they are kind of you know, working i think it's an important point that people should have that mindset that you know um uh, I, I have a lot of things to learn and first let me hear what other people has have to say because that is the moment you start listening to the people that is where you also start questioning oh okay uh, do i have the right kind of information there because exactly. when you start thinking that i know everything you close your mind so that's exactly. that, so that's a very very important point that people you know should be open to the ideas open to learning in that place as well perfect uh, i think that that kind of you know sums up the entire interview mega thank you so much uh, you know we are very happy that you know you were able to make a career out of um, uh, out for yourself in crystal your learning there um, we will keep on connecting again because sure. you know career is not sure. something which 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 is like cool yeah. it is it is a journey we'll keep on connecting yeah. and we we'll keep on uh, we would want you to share more and more of your experience with all the other people all the other students who are connecting with us of course i'll be asking for more tips from you <laughs> as uh, as i climb the led- ladder of my career yeah, sure. thank you it was like um, it was an amazing opportunity to connect with you right now and you know just discuss everything what i have been you know i have faced yeah thank you thank you so much. yeah thank you thank so you much. much thank you